Welcome. So what we're going to do is dividing rational expressions. And remember, the first thing we're going to want to do is always try to simplify this. And then when we're dividing, we always want to, we can reciprocate and then flip, or I'm sorry, reciprocate and then change this to a multiplication problem. But we're only going to reciprocate our divisor. So I'm actually going to do a quick little work here. I'm actually going to reciprocate and, sorry, simplify and reciprocate kind of in the same term. So here I can factor out a GCF, right? This is a binomial, but I see that they both share a 6. So I'm going to factor out a 6. I'm going to have x plus y divided by y minus x. Now these are not the exact same terms, so I cannot simplify them. But I'm going to change this now, multiply this to the reciprocal. So I'm going to flip this fraction. And then also I notice that these both share a 5, so I'm going to factor out a 5. OK? So now when we're looking at this, um, we see, let's go ahead and multiply across and see what we get. So therefore, I have 30 over x plus y y minus x divided by 18 y minus x. No, x minus y, sorry. And then y minus x. So I look at this and you say, well, neither of these, I don't have anything that I can simplify. I can reduce the 30 over 18, right? I could say, what do those both have in common? You could say, well, they can both be divided by 6, all right, which will reduce down to a 5 thirds. However, none of these are exactly the same. This has a negative y, positive y. However, I look at this and I say, what about if I factored out a negative 1? What if I had y minus x, right? And let's say I factor out a negative 1. That would leave me with a negative y plus x. And then if I rearrange these terms, I could have x minus y. Well, notice that x minus y would be the same thing up here. So I can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and rewrite. Let's simplify this into. Both divide the numerator and denominator by 6, which would be a positive 5 thirds. Therefore, then I'd have x plus y over x minus y. And then I'm going to factor out a negative 1 and then re rewrite this as x minus y. Well, now you can see that by factoring out the negative 1, these will now divide out to 1. And then this problem now turns negative. So it would be a negative 5 thirds times x plus y. And that kind of looks a little odd. So let's just kind of write it as x plus y. Even though that is in the numerator, I'll just kind of write out there. So just make sure you can factor out a negative 1 to be able to get the binomial or monomial that you need so you can divide it out. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your rational expression. Thanks.